220 Roman ships in three months. These shipyards weren't messing around. Massive vaulted halls rose near the water, big enough to build multiple ships at once. Covered, fireproof, engineered for non-stop production. Slipways led straight into the sea, long ramps where hulls could be dragged in or out. Dry docks lifted ships from the water so crews could patch, plank, and reinforce. Timber came in by the wagon load. Oak for strength, fur for speed. Workshops echoed with hammers, saws, and shouted orders. Resin bubbled in clay vats, hemp cords twisted into rigging. Blacksmiths forged bronze rams. Hawkers sealed the seams with pitch and wool. Sails were stitched in warehouses next to oars, anchors, and stacked amphorae of supplies. There were barracks for workers, forges, rope walks, timber yards, and storage depots the size of temples. The workforce numbered in the thousands. Carpenters, laborers, enslaved rowers, naval engineers. In times of war, entire fleets could be built in months, using modular parts, standard hulls, and pure coordinated force. Shipyards were weapons. If you could build faster, you'd outnumber them. Eventually, 